Hey, you. Guys, welcome to what is going to be hopefully an epic live stream. Chucky just woke me up. I was up till 6 a.m. editing the video that was supposed to be uploaded today. It will now be tomorrow. But, oh my gosh. I was like, yo, Chucky, if anything happens, wake me up. Two hours ago, or not even two hours ago, like 30 minutes ago, it's like four hours into my sleep. <laughs> and he just goes, bang, 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 bang. And I'm like, what? He's like, new trailer. Boom, right up. I'm right up out of bed. And um, I'm so stoked. I can't, I, I haven't watched it yet. I can't wait to see this. All I know is I see, uh, I took one screenshot. I got one screenshot of what looks to be like the Shadow Man. I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? So let's get some hype in the chat early on here. Let's get some serious love, some serious likes on the like meter because this one should be epic. This is my first time watching it. We're going to watch it together. I'm going to let everyone get in here. I know it's pretty early here. Uh, everywhere else doesn't look as early, but... Um Honestly, I feel like a lot of people haven't even even touched on it yet. I feel like uh, it obviously just went up about maybe about an hour ago now. Um, so it's pretty new. And I'm so fucking pumped, guys. I'm fucking pumped. I'm so tired, though. I'm so tired. I'm like, I just got out of bed. I'm like, uh, I'm dying right now. But I'm also extremely pumped to see this damn trailer. So let me know if you guys are hyped. We got a lot of dab comments. We will do a dab at um, a thousand likes. We'll do a dab just like last night. So, don't worry about that. Mods, let the people know in the chat. If they want the hot dabaroni, they need the Thousand Island dressing. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and watch this for the first time here. Everyone's coming. Actually, say some hi to some people first. We got Space Dog confirmed, Yatsu Chavez. We got a whole lot of dabs in the chat, obviously. Um, I watched it four times. It's epic. I am so freaking excited. You better be pumped. Believe me, I am. I haven't seen a Jiggle Puff. So, this is the first time some of you might be watching with me as well, which is super cool. We're going to experience it together. I'm going to play it through the first time all the way, and then we will go for it uh, frame by frame like we did yesterday. Lots of dabs still. Once again, guys, we will hit it at the 1,000 Island dressing. Jason Blundell is in the chat. Hype for that. <laughs> Space dog hype. I swear to God, if I see a space dog or a bumper car, I am gonna, I'm done. It's gonna be a winning trailer in my books. I can't wait. I'm so excited. It's gonna be freaking sick. What's up? What's up? What's up? Let's say hello. Purple Dank. We got Zeno G. We got Michael, Ricky, Jason Blundell, obviously. Deadpool. Uh, Exility is power. <laughs> what a name. Um, we got a lot of people. Josh. We got Icy. We got Dan Gam. We got Momin. Little, little biz. Blah, 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 blah. Hans, 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 uh, Jesse Flaherty, Max Kramer, Braden something, uh, Sean Gallagher, Chaos, Peter Rice, Tony Fenner, Enigma HD, Bobby, Formal, Awesome Soccer Game Guy. What is up, everybody? I think we got most people in here, uh, but if not, just we'll hop right into it. You can watch it after if you missed anything. So let's pop over to our goodness. Pop on the headphones of Doom, Death, and Destruction, and let's do this, fam. I'm so fucking fucked. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Uh, let's recap a bit, shall we? This was meant to be a new start, really. The perfect world. That's the house! Free from all the evil that had corrupted each and every corner of the known and unknown universe. It was going to be a place of safety for the kids. The little use. No! No! Well, so We're far, back! So good. Oh shit, they're all they're all in there! They're all in! Things they're all in the fucking room. Wrong. Soon after you arrived. What? Wait, who? Now, I can understand what? your initial shock coming face to face with Maxis. That's fucking Maxis! But you did the right thing. That doesn't look anything like Maxis! You He's so young! Ow! 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 And you destroyed that bloody machine once and for all. What the fuck? What machine? Thing is, Maxis went and ballsed everything up. Dude, that is Max! That's fucking Maxis! He doesn't look anything like I thought he would! He heard voices, you see, calling to him. Only together can we prevent the destruction of your world. 
wasn't really what his fault. the you know, nips hasn't actually got his is soul going yet. on? All I got was a brain. Anyway, the key thing, as in the thing that is key, is that Max is fiddled around with the summoning within the king and accidentally released an even bigger bastard. Someone even I didn't know was in there. The Shadow Man. The one and only original Harbinger of Doom. What the fuck is going on? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! So, I'm going to be absolutely truthful with you. Bumper car! Way too far out of control. This isn't any vague woohoo evil. We're talking about the Apothecons, the most powerful and evil entities <laughs> in all the existences that Holy shit. existed. And now they're here in our perfect world. I'm not going to sugarcoat things. It's a fucking shit show. Oh my, what the fuck just happened? Oh my god. Holy nips. 9-6. What the fuck? Oh my, I don't even, I, I'm speechless. I am just shocked at what I just, dude, you got, I need to call up Waffles right now because he was wrong. He was wrong. As, at least from what this looks like, this looks like the Shadow Man is evil and that Monty is just narrating what's going on. Max is... No clue if he's evil or good. Dude, look at him! He looks nothing like I thought he would! What the fuck? <laughs> what? Alright, we're watching it again. We're watching it again. That was way too much. What the okay. fuck? Uh, let's recap a bit, shall we? Let's recap a bit, shall we? Okay. This was meant to be a new start, really. A perfect world. Free from all the evil that had corrupted each and every corner of the known and unknown universe. It was going to be a place of safety for the kids, the little yous. You, little. Well, so far, so good. But things started to go wrong soon after you arrived. Now, I can understand your initial shock coming face to face with Maxis, especially after so long. But you did the right thing. You followed the plan. You brought the summoning key here, and you destroyed that bloody machine once and for all. Thing is, Maxis went and ballsed everything up. Please, you must help me. He heard voices, you see, calling to him. Only together can we prevent the destruction of your world. It wasn't really his fault. You know, he hasn't actually got his soul yet. All I got was a brain. Anyway, the key thing, as in the thing that is key, is that Max is fiddled around with the summoning within the king and accidentally released an even bigger bastard. Someone even I didn't know was in there. Bumper car! The Shadow Man. The one and only original. 
Harbinger of Doom. too far out of control. This isn't any vague woo evil. We're talking about the Apothecons, the most powerful and evil entities in all the existences that ever existed. And now they're here, in our perfect world. I'm not going to sugarcoat things. It's a fucking shit show. I can't even handle this. I can't even handle this. Wow. Wow. I gotta say something. I called it. I called it along with the rest of the community. Waffles was wrong. He said Monty's bad. We said Monty's good. You were wrong. Boy, you were wrong. Mmm. Holy crap. So let's read some donations here. We got I, while I was while I was watching that madness. We got Gold Pika bumper cars. I love the work. It's been watching your streams lately. Thank you. Keep it up. Uh, DJ Chilt, my boy. Hashtag bumper car. Rick Toffin, good. Monty, good. Shadow Man, bad. Max is crazy as fuck. Hashtag bumper car. DJ Tilt, let's get some GGs in the chat for him and for Gold Pika. Thank you guys for the donations. I appreciate those a bunch. If you guys are like completely blown away and or excited as shit nipples. For DLC 4 Revelations, let's get a damn like spike. I want a dolphin dab. I want to dab all over the damn house right now because it is a mess. It is. What is going on? This is nuts. I I don't even know how we're gonna play this map. Where's this map at? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Um. Don't worry. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna call Milo. I'm gonna call Milo, and hopefully he'll answer. Um. Let's see here. I'm just like. What the nips? What the nips? Alright, I'm gonna call Miles if he answers here. Hopefully he will. I don't know how to mute this. I have no idea how to do this. Yo, how's it going? Yo, what's going on, man? Uh, I'm streaming right now, uh, so right just let you know so you're on stream. Oh, just let you know you're on stream. Okay. Hi. I just want to. Have you seen the trailer yet? <laughs> have you seen the trailer yet? I have indeed. I'm. Oh man, I'm I'm in heaven right now. I'm not gonna lie. This could not be making me more excited and happy and just everything. It's just like ah, dude. It's ah! madness, right? <laughs> it's all that. Yo, let me uh. Let me answer the call on my PC because the audio will be better. Quite okay, okay, sounds good. Okay. Give me a call back, yep. He answered, I'm surprised. I'm going to see if I can... Will this work? Evil the... No, apparently not. I don't know how to mute the audio on here. Let's see about now. Nope. <laughs> Rip. Uh... Do you guys know how to mute audio on, uh, on After Effects? I mean, on uh, Premiere? I certainly don't. Audio gain. Let's see if we do negative 100. Hey, that worked. So I'll, I'll let this keep playing in the background. I think that's more, more intriguing. So we're going to talk to Milo here in a second. And uh, we'll see what he thinks about... Uh, Thinks about all the characters and what they are. <laughs> Surprise guest Milo. Fuck yeah. Keep on rolling, guys. Keep on rolling on those likes. We're gonna we're almost at the 1,000 mark, and uh, you know I'm gonna dab at the 1,000 mark. That's how that kind of works. But yeah. Hopefully he'll call back. Oh, he's calling now. Okay. Yo. Howdy. How's it going? Oh, man. I am like, so, I am just blown away. It, right? Yeah, yeah, I just watched yeah. it. I'm, I'm watching it on stream right now. Once again, you're on stream. They uh -huh. wanted me to call you because 
Monty yeah, like, seems get like Milo he's... on the phone. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, exactly. It seems like Monty's Milo good. Milo. Mate, I don't believe it for a second. No <laughs> way. No chance. No way. Dude, from the this, it is, seems right? like he is the good guy. There's nah, nah, not for a moment. I cannot, I cannot allow myself to believe that. Not at all. So you think it's... he's gonna be like surprise ending? He's actually bad. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's or it's going to be like surprise ending. Something that we just cannot possibly even understand until the next game. Wow, that is like they could legitimately be like, "Hey boys, is the uh, origins ending 2.0?" <laughs> like Dang. we're going another layer deeper right now. We're unwrapping the onion, oh baby. That would be something. It's... Yeah, it, I'm I, just like I'm just. This is just a mind fuckery, dude. But dude, do you remember when I got to the Z house that night and I sat down and I was like, this is what's going to be happening, right? We've got the countryside. We've yeah, got you, you nailed the, the kids scene. in the house. You nailed got the it, scening. Mate. Absolutely, 100%. Absolutely got it. I'm just blown away. The Shadow Man is, is a thing. That, I love the way they did that. I'm so happy. The, like, I feel like they did that really tastefully. Like, they could have done some seriously goofy stuff with like, oh, the Shadow Man is going to just like dribble his way out of the key when no one's looking and it's going to be chaos but i feel like the idea of him calling to maxis and tricking him into just botching up the entire plan ah oh, it's so good yeah ah oh, it's so good it's just oh man monty 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 what are you, what are you planning sir there's there's got to be something he's, he's got to have some motivation Whatever he's doing, if he's going to just pop and turn into a keeper at the end of it, if he's going to just pop and turn into, like, something else entirely, I don't know what's going to happen, but there's something going on with Monty, man. Dude, this... Like, this dude <laughs> is... There's so peculiar. much going on now. There's, like, four guys you got to look out for. Right. Like, I mean, that's what um the... Uh, what do you call it? The... Uh, the teaser that we got yesterday, the like the caption and and the thing that Monty was saying, the like the ten second teaser, it was like you got the apothecons, the keepers, the children. That's a lot of balls to be juggling. Yeah, like there's there's a lot to keep track of right now. There really is. And I'm just I'm so <laughs> I'm, freaking I, hyped. I, I, honestly, oh the map is like though, you know, like yeah, what do you think is gonna be playable? This is obviously like great storyline. Yeah, but I have no I idea. Mean, because the thing is, I don't know if this is definite or not, but I think I might have seen a bit of Shangri-La in there. In this trailer? In the flo on the floating rocks. Liam, Liam sent me a little image, and, and I, I agree with the things that he was drawing on it. It kind of looked a little bit like Shangri-La, which is weird that they would just have random flying Shangri-La just chilling out. Yeah, but I'll check it out. I mean, out. just the whole thing, man. The whole freaking thing is is mental it's just mental it on a completely another level to anything that i could have really foreseen happening it's just they've 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 gone the distance <laughs> they it's have gone the distance nuts Ooh. man i like this is just blows everything else out of the water entirely so here's here's one thing though the one thing that's that's awkward about this right is that the release date is the 6th of September. Yeah, I was just okay. going to say that's another thing we can talk about in a second. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to be airborne for 70% or 75% of the 6th of September. So... Dang. Yeah. Rip. Ripperoni. I don't know... And, and the thing is as well is... 18 hour difference because you've got the 10 hour flight and then you've got mm -hmm. the eight hour time difference mm -hmm. i'm gonna be jet lagged to all hell all oh, yeah. the uk youtubers are gonna be so jet lagged so interesting it's yeah man and the the, the the cherry on top for me my personal touch for all this i've got to move house in the next five days <laughs> like dude you are in for so... a serious yeah. treat <laughs> I've got some real roller coaster lined up. I'm, I'm viewing houses tomorrow, and then I've got to find one of them to actually live in and sign and then move. Oh my god! Anyway, let's get back to the trailer, dude. Crikey, O'Reilly! See, so they're gonna be playing on this countryside. 
after yes. Shadow Man's done his so dirty some, stuff. Yes, yeah, some of the some of the gameplay will definitely be in just the regular countryside. Some of it will also then obviously be in Kino, which we saw yesterday. Some will be in Shang, some will be in Mob, some will be in Nacht, some will be in Origins. Uh, where else? Were there any others? Any other maps that I missed that we got got teased? Ascension. I think they were the. Not... Did they show a bit of Ascension? Well, the the beginning and the beginning of the flashes. I don't know if those are. In the in the oh, map, or they're just like. Oh, short. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Yeah, maybe they they could play with that idea. They could go there because then there's like, I mean, but then there's loads of there's Veruk, there's Shinomuma, yeah, there's all, there's kinds, like basically all every sorts map, of stuff, every great map, right? I mean, um, but but maybe they're gonna do that. Maybe that is the plan. Do you think it's gonna um, be through? How are we gonna get to these other places? Are they gonna be part of the map physically, or are there gonna be like some kind of teleportation there? Or I think Nacht is definitely part of the map because. There's a shot that we see uh, when we see Nacht in this trailer. Uh, this one has just come out. Uh, yeah. There's a shot that you'll be able to scrub to, and you can see a death ray in the background. And so, I feel like that that is highly unlikely to be the original Nacht Run Totem location. Yeah, and this one, this is uh, we also get another shot of Nacht and all the zombies running through it in this one. Right, yeah, 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 and so. there's the red sky as well, and that feels very much like this map. So, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that some of it, like Nacht, will be integrated into this, and then some will be like, like, like Kino, for example. I think is going to be a case of you teleport. Um, I think that would be the most likely thing because they can play with the teleporting idea to such a grand extent. Um, yeah, like. If we if we teleport into Kino, and then we activate the mainframe or whatever, we link the teleporter, we go in the teleporter, it teleports us to the projector room, we get 30 seconds in there, and then instead of teleporting back into the map, we teleport to, like, Shangri-La. And then we end up in Shang. And then you maybe activate the eclipse on Shangri-La, and oh, that has its shit. thing, and it does its thing, and, like, 90 seconds passes, and then instead of going back to regular Shangri-La when the eclipse ends, you go to Ascension. And then you do something in Ascension, and you end up somewhere else. And you just barrel roll your way through all of the maps. Like, imagine you're Dang. tumbling through time and space. That would, would be cool. Be the only so problem that have with that is that you'd have to go through mm. everything to get back to Revelations. Which right. Which would be a little That's bit true. Yeah, yeah. transit-esque. <laughs> yep, for real. I mean, maybe they could find a way to, like, maybe yeah, you could I'm sure. I'm sure they somehow navigate again, or, yeah. or something. But, like, just, just the fact that that is even a possibility right now is so exciting dude this looks so exciting phenomenal oh <laughs> i'm so happy chucky woke me up oh <laughs> were you asleep oh yeah dude i was up to like 6 a.m editing a video i, I oh, got like three damn, hours of sleep man. and he's like bangs on my door he's like what he's like trailer is like okay i'm up <laughs> <laughs> okay i'm up i'll okay, be right okay. up <laughs> the thing is i i've been exhausted all day I literally, 11 minutes before this trailer came out, I was like, I think I'm going to take a nap. And then I looked at the time and I was like, oh, but what if they drop something? What, yeah. what if they drop something in 11 minutes time? I should probably wait just just those those 11 minutes. So I'm waiting and it gets to the time and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to bed. That's done. It's fine. I'm really, really tired. I need to sleep. And then I see a message on Skype and it's just like, they dropped a trailer. It's three minutes long. And I was just like, no. <laughs> Yes, but no. <laughs> Three minutes of straight, I guess. Yeah, man. man, absolute, just beautiful stuff. Do, Absolutely. Do you wonderful. think we'll be able to go in the house? Yes. Okay. Oh, actually, no. Mm. I'm wondering because he got the interesting. He does shut the doors at the end quite decisively. Yeah. He, but you also have the children slam. upstairs, and it's like, where would they be? I guess, I guess, since it's, it's an intro, like, it could be right. playable still. But dude, oh my god, oh my! What if we go in the house and like Maxis has the kids in the ba like like um, Origins cutscene style? Make sure the uh, the windows are locked before you come down to the basement. Mm. What if he's brought the kids down to the basement? He's locked the door down there to like keep them safe. But then you can like go in the corridors, wrap your knuckles on the door, and talk to the children. Oh, that'd be. And they can tell you about their world and about their experiences. That'd be oh, crazy. Oh my god, dude! Imagine talking to Origins like that. Origins Samantha. That'd be after she's just played the game with with us. 
bro. Oh my There's God, so this much this so can good. be. Oh, dude, this and Ma Maxis so looks nothing like I predicted. Like I thought, I just he just doesn't look. He like looks very much like the uh, the dude from the campaign. I don't know if you if you played much of the Black Ops Three yeah, campaign. Yeah, he looks but... similar to people that I feel like would that I might have seen. Right. Yeah. There's like the 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 i think it's taylor in the campaign is like the main kind of sort of bad guy but then i mean i don't want to spoil anything so i'll just i'll just call him the sort of bad guy for now okay um just in case people still haven't played that campaign yeah, you know right. just in case um but uh they're pretty much the same thing except maxis has a beard <laughs> like that's the main difference really i guess so, so yeah he just looks a lot Absolutely. younger than you know the only picture we got from origins right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. So it is true. Damn, dude, and he he's got the got... Uh, yeah. mark of the beast on his on his chest, Shadow Man. The thing is, as well, um, is wait, what was I going to say? God damn, I really am tired. I was, I had, a, I had a really cool thought just then. It's going to come to me. What was it? What was the thought? It was about Maxis. So yes, this was the thought. Are we going to be getting Maxis out of the key for the Easter egg? Do you reckon? That's a thought. I'm also thinking if That's you're going to go to all these maps, but... that they're going to have to go to the maps as part of the Easter egg, and then they'll be unlocked for the whole map. Is another thought. Also, all the thoughts. Another one. Let's let's get another thought in here, shall we? Okay, <laughs> another thought coming in. <laughs> what about the gate worms? Dude, I don't even know. Yeah, we haven't even touched on that yet, and I'm already like, Duh. right. Like, the gate worms, the summoning key, all that, all that, uh, uh, there's, there's so, so much. much to be answered, to be explored. Dude, I love how it just it starts with the shot of the house, just so happy, I'm like, what is this, it's is this, so is this, this is a troll, Treyarch? And I'm like, oh. I love it, man. Oh. That moment where oh. it's just green, and it's, like, there's sunlight, and it's not foggy. And I know, <laughs> right? It's like... Things oh can be God, happy? I mean, what? Yeah, man. It's ah, uh, but okay. Let's let's bring another thought in, shall we? Yeah. How is this gonna end? Ah, uh, you're asking the wrong guy. You're the guy. <laughs> you're the guy to answer that question. Ask but, yourself. <laughs> in just 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 in terms of, like, regardless of actual like story, like this happens and then this happens. Regardless yeah. of that. How on earth do Treyarch end this story? How the hell? And another thought, bringing them all in right now, reeling in those thoughts. I got, I got a hook, line, and sinker right now. <laughs> thoughts on deck. They came up with this in mid 2013. What? Like they've wow. legitimately had this written since mid 2013. That's Which crazy. Is oh my god! It doesn't seem real. It honestly seems like like Jason's been lying this whole time, and he just happens to have written a good story in the last ten minutes. Like, th th how how have they done this? I don't know, it's, man. How do you go that so long without even wanting to tell at least one person? <laughs> right. I got like, this amazing story. Yeah, yeah. Let let me tell you, dude. We got some. We got some some seriously dope stuff coming along, but oh man, I don't I don't know, man. It, I'm just I'm 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 a bit sort of dumbfounded by just the scale of what they are doing here. The fact that they just went and revealed Maxis to us in the intro, just like that. They're just like, yeah, Maxis, there he is. There he's he is. gonna have. Have a quick oh, hug with good old yeah, Rick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good old buddies reunited. Love it. Exactly. Like, like pals, pals back together. But, oh man, I'm just like, ay, 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 ay. I could watch I this trailer know. all day. It's just, it's yep. just non-comparable to anything else we've seen. Right. Like the one yesterday. Uh, when we got that, I literally just sat down and watched it like a load of times. Mm. This. My um my like reaction video or whatever is literally just basically me watching the trailer like five times. I'm just like, we're going again. And then I watch it through and I get to the end and I'm like, oh, that was great. We're going again. And I just keep going through it. 
like I, I yeah i could exactly like you said i could never stop watching this thing it's i oh i just can't believe that this is it this is this is Bananas. every story has a beginning and an end and What's we are in the, we are the midst we're in the oh midst of the final God. chapter right now like this is actually upon us we've actually got here <sighs> it's too yeah. much there's just there's just too much Dude, going Samantha, on. I love your pajamas <laughs> Mate, Richmond's got some some snazzy like played pajamas going yeah, on there. Yeah, dude, he, like, looks like, he looks like Lex. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, the there's same a little bit, a little bit of Lex. Lex pajamas in there. Except uh, Kid Eddie's not wearing like a random like green blouse out yeah, to, to yeah, go get food. That's true. That was that was a moment. That was a real moment. The other was. three in there though. Takio. Yep, just chilling. I can't even tell which one's Dempsey, which one's Nikolai. I think I think Nikolai's the ginger because he's playing with the tank, and I think yeah, that, that must that be Nikolai. Makes sense. Um, but it is weird, like seeing them as kids. Yeah, it's just like, huh? Okay, that's that's an interesting way of, of like, I don't know, just just sort of giving us that that kind of idea because we, we we had assumed that we would be seeing them as kids because obviously um, origins uh sam and eddie having been in there eddie having been there, in there for a long time and stuff it was like a logical thing but just the way they actually look just for some reason to me just looks very odd like is they don't they don't look the way yeah. i expected the kids yep i agree um i mean we're used to the other yeah. we're used to eddie and sam but uh, the other three look right just yeah, yeah kind of yeah, yeah. generic almost to me honestly mm. yeah like i don't see them and go oh dempsey yeah not like, at all i, I don't get they're all it's wearing like, blue and white too, which is like, I don't mm. know. They're kind of all the same, all similar. They're all the same. Just a carbon oh copy. Um, da, cool. da, da. Well, thank you for yeah. coming on. I appreciate all the input. Um, I'm, I'm fucking stoked, man. I can't wait. No, for real. Like, this is gonna be. I mean, okay, real talk. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been as hyped for a map pack as you have no. been for this? Do you reckon? Nope. How Just could you how could you be nah. more pumped for something else other than this? Right. This is like this is it, like, man. If you're a fan of this game, of the, yeah. <laughs> you are on board for this. Yeah, like one of the things I've really noticed this year is that like Black Ops 3 zombies, you you go back to Black Ops 2 and you think about what happened in Black Ops 2 and what we thought was epic in Black Ops 2. Yeah. And then you compare it to Black Ops 3, nowhere near. Yep. Nowhere near. This game uh, it's it's just been some serious like magical voodoo going on right now. It's, they keep it's, upping it's the nuts. bar. Yep, they've it's they've upped better this bar and better so and better. Down. It's fucking crazy, dude. All right, and itself is going to be amazing. So yeah, I'll leave you to it. Awesome, dude. Thanks we'll talk soon. Peace. And um, yep, catch you in a bit. Yep, see you soon. Well, that was Milo. Very, very good insight onto what he thinks is going to happen. I know you guys have all been spamming it, so I'm going to call Lex. Assuming I can get him on here. We're going to call him in a second here. But let me read off the nation first. We got... Um, Yatu Chavez, my homie! First time donating camp for this map. Hashtag Space Dog confirmed. If there was ever going to be a Space Dog, now would be the time. Because look at this right here. That is your boy, Fluffy, I'm assuming pretty sure fluffy in the flesh and guess what we have we have you guessed it space this is not a space dog don't be fooled this is not a space dog but fluffy if he makes it outside into the space we will have space dog confirmed hundo p let's get some hashtag hype hype hashtag hype for space dog in the chat that's, that's words. There you go. Bam. I can't even speak. I'm just like, oh, it's the shit. <laughs> space dog. Hashtag space dog hype in the chat. Real quick, we are very close to the dab. So if you guys want to hit that, by all means, go for it. Um, I think we're like 100 likes away. But real quick, I got to switch this up here. And I'm going to call your boy, Mr. Forehead Lexify. 
Ow, that hurt. Let's get it back running here, doink. Okay. O okay. 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 Oh, look at that, you guys just hit it, bam. Hondo, oh, we got thousand dollar dressing. What do you know? What do you know? What do you know? We're gonna do an early morning. <laughs> it's gonna be revelations, oh my god. Oh yeah, it's the shit. Dude, it's the shit. It's the shit. This map's gonna be the tits. Yeah, boy. Okay, okay, bam, okay. Alright, okay. Bam! Okay, alright. Let's call up ya homie G, the Mr. T, Alexify. I don't think he's gonna answer, but either way, we will try to call him. Or, you know what? I could just go downstairs and get him up here myself. But I'm gonna see if you answers. Mr. T, are you there? Hello? Can you answer? I'll give you one starburst if you answer. I'll give you two starburst if you answer. Oh, oh hey! Uh -huh. So I'm streaming right now, and I've been <coughs> highly requested to call you and get your opinion on said trailer. Have you watched oh it? Oh my god, yeah, I just finished making my video. It is insane! I knew it, dude! I knew my boy, the Shadow Man, was Maxis or Monty. I fucking knew it, dude! What do you mean you knew he was Maxis or Monty? I knew that the Shadow Man just wasn't some random ass fucker. I just knew he was someone consumed or part of someone, which he technically is. He, like, gotcha. he is Maxis. They basically switch souls or basically switch bodies. You think That's they switch souls or you think they just switch places? Uh, or something like that, or Maxis is now like corrupted by the Shadow Man itself. And the Shadow Man isn't actually human, it's just corrupting uh maxis into looking the way he is that's what i think man. interesting okay i i knew for a fact that the fucking shadow man wasn't just some random ass character they throw in shadows of evil and leave him out my boy is part of maxis <laughs> that's 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 what it's gotta be man that's what it's gotta be there's no other way they switch I, bodies I yeah Something like that, dude. And did you notice in the trailer, the Pothigans are shooting Element 105 rocks yeah. into the universes. Yeah. That's how it all started. Those little pieces of shit. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Oh, my God. Dude, that trailer got me hyped. I really... Dude, how could it not? I'm, I'm, I'm literally watching it over and over and over and over while I talk to oh you. Oh, my God. That... It's just... Oh. <sighs> Dude, if you look in the house, you can see the little Origins Easter eggs. I, when I, my first reaction, I saw the little stone, uh, little pedestal pool looking basin thing. You know what I'm saying? Where you uh, get the, uh, the the Ordinance Strike Grenades. Uh, it's hard to explain, but it's on I Origins gotcha. at the okay. end of Gen 6. Yeah, it's a little tiny pedestal. It's so crazy. Oh, dude. I know what you're talking about. Where you put yeah. the, the stone in, yeah? It's so small. It's just in the corner of one of the frames in the house. And oh my god, man. Oh, man. Gotcha. This yeah. Oh, I see it. I see exactly what you're talking about here. Yeah, I'm show yeah, the stream. yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's really small. Really small. This right trailer here. has... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can see like when Monty also opens the door to the kids. That's every character in kid form, dude. Yeah, dude. It's oh nuts. I was just talking to Mal about this. They don't. They look like kind of generic. They don't really look exactly like the younger form of themselves. I'd say. Well, I don't know, man. It's kind of hard, I guess. When the thing is, though, when you're a kid, do you really have like a distinct appearance? I yeah, feel like all not. fucking kids look the same, man. Let's just be honest. <laughs> 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 I guess so. <laughs> well, I don't know, man. But I think, oh God. This this whole storyline now makes a lot more sense after watching that little bit of trailer. It it, it now actually has some type of storyline. Now that basically the whole thing is we are saving my boy Maxis from the Apothecids. That's yeah, what dude. it is. Pretty much. That's what it is. That oh. and I guess trying to close what seems to be like a rift now. The thing, uh, the thing I never understood right at the beginning is why is the Shadow Man so important? Like we were wondering, like why is there, why are they hyping him up so much at Comic Con when they first released SOE? I'm like, dude, he's probably just gonna be like the worst character ever. But no, my yeah. boy is Maxis. 
The thing now is, how the fuck did he get to, like, how did that, like, how did he get to SOE, man? That, that's the thing I don't get. I don't know. He did, just, yeah, he kind of just appears there. This, now we know how he's going to, like, ultimately end if he does, but you're right. How did he get there? I have no how clue. How did he get to SOE? And, like, I, okay, I get out the, okay, now that makes a lot more sense why the summoning key there is at SOE, you know? It's not just randomly there. He put it there. Yeah. You yeah, know that, what I'm saying? Yeah, that makes more sense. That, that's a lo that's way more sense on that part. I still can't but, believe how Maxis looks, though, man. <laughs> He, just like, dude, he look. I like his look. I like his look. Um, I I thought he would have more beard, but then you look yeah. at the you look at uh, the shadow man, and that's exactly what I thought he looked like. But yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. It's his, they all kind of look similar in a way. They all got the beard. They're all like old men. <laughs> it's old white man with the beard. Look, yeah. The thing is though, man, I ain't letting up on um on Monty. I think they're both evil. Yeah, that's, what, that's what exactly what Waffle said. He's like, I, nope, I don't care what it looks like here. Uh, it's definitely Monty's evil, and that's that. I, I think they're both evil. I think half, you know what it's going to be? Halfway through the Easter egg, it's going to be like Moon. So we free, like freeing Samantha from the MPD, we free Maxis from the Shadow Man. And then this, the second half is probably killing Monty. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. like Monty, because yeah. right now he's like kind of talking us through everything, like explaining it to us. He's in the house with us. Well, dude, like, he fucking shuts the door on us. At the yeah, end. true. He's, he's like, like, it is madness. Right. You're fucked. Go yeah, ahead. <laughs> yeah. Go on. Go on ahead. I'll, I'll watch. Do what like, you got to do. No, oh, dude. That, that shit, I was like, come on, man. Like, you, got, you cannot stand and say that this man is good. This boy is evil as shit. What oh, a dude. Oh, my God. Still, though, I, th I think that was, like, oh, that's so cool, though, how they integrated everything. And also, dude, if you look... At when they flash Nocturne and Toten, you can see the Duraiza Drac death rate trap, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what Miles said yeah. as well, yeah. Like, That's crazy. The, the, the Noct is the only one we get in this one as well, though. Yep, yep. Because, dude, I think basically how I think this map is going to start is we're going to start on the porch of the house. And when we start on the porch of the house, we're just going to see everything. We're going to see every map laid out in front of us, everything blown really? up. It's all going to be right there. Yeah, I guarantee you it's going to be right off at the porch and that's how we're going to start. So you're going to see all those all those remade maps that we saw yesterday. Oh yeah, I think so. Just right in front of us. And I I really now do think that this map will be interchangeable or there will be a way to forcefully manipulate the map in terms of like Maybe switching it up from one side to the other or making it different every time you play. I'm not sure, but I, I'm like almost 100% guarantee you, like this map is going to be very different almost every time we play. That's how I think it. That is that would be amazing, and that's yeah. obviously something that I think would be interested to the community because you can keep playing it over and over and over, and it'll be somewhat different every time. I'm just curious as to if it'll get like repetitive, and then what I said to you yesterday, if this map is just gonna be too similar because it's every universe we've already seen so and again rip zombies only dlc <laughs> yeah i didn't think that was gonna happen but uh, I'm I, not, I didn't think so either i'm, I'm not, not shocked that this is how it is yeah not bummed out at all but i'm like yeah it's kind of it's obvious. cool that we still also don't really know where we're gonna be placed in i mean obviously we'll probably be in the countryside and and at the house but will we be able to play in the house where we, we like what is gonna be playable we don't really know right 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 I uh, I think the house uh, Chucky was thinking with the most obvious answer. The house will probably be the pack a punch. You know, it's kind of like GK with that matter. You have to go really far to get to the pack a punch. Yeah. Other than that, I'm not really sure though. Like I feel it's again, it's all up to it's all up to wherever. You know, I, I don't know where we're going now, but I think basically the plot is clear. We kill Shadow Man and we or we free Maxis from the Shadow Man and then we free or we kill Monty. I think that's I think that's the the end game right now. Yeah, I mean those are both good guesses for sure. I, um, it's gonna be interesting, dude. The release date's the sixth, so it's one day was... after or two days after COD XP, which is fucking crazy. <laughs> dude, I I'm like genuinely scared because. I was thinking, I'm like, dude, I have a flight on the 5th. <laughs> yeah, dude, you're not the only one. I think everyone dude, is going to be like, yeah. Oh! And we, I, we all have to get home, set up everything. I'm probably not even going to go to sleep that whole night. Like, because I have school the next, uh, no, I have school on the 7th, thank God. Uh, but, 
Oh, man. Oh. Yeah, dude. It's going to be, uh, <laughs> the community is going to be rip. I'll be ready to go, luckily. I'll be good. <laughs> oh, God. It's going to be just tragic, dude. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. I, like, Jesus, I'm not ready for university at all. And Revelations is like, fuck <laughs> university. Yeah, right, right now, dude. Your first boy. week's going to be a rip. Oh, dude, rip. Rest in peace, man. Oh, and I wanted to actually practice Revelations a lot. I guess that's really, really not going to happen, man. And I guess, you know what the thing is, now that I think about it? The way they're going to make this map hard is by incorporating elements from other maps. Do you get what I'm saying by that? Like, the difficulty from other map layouts will kind of blend in with this map. And that's how I can okay. see this map being, like, its own origins. It's going to have just this huge level of detail... Yep. That's really difficult because we've already seen it. That's my only hope, though, that it's not too recognizable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I, I'm i just like, I can't believe this is a thing. I, it just, it's, I was worried. I really was worried about the hype being too much and then the map being underwhelming because it's too hyped up. But this is just like, I don't think anyone saw this coming, which is different than the rest of Black Ops 3 because we kind of predicted... You're going to kill this guy, then you're going to kill Nikolai, then you're going to kill Takia, you're going to blah, 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 you know? So, I'm excited. Uh, I, I'm i really, uh, dude, <laughs> I'm just not sure what to think now. Like, I, I now I don't know how Samantha and the, the kids tie in. I don't know how that shit works. Uh, I feel like Milo would have a better explanation. Yeah, he, he was hoping that they'd be, like, downstairs in the basement, locked behind a door, so they're safe, and then you could talk to them by, like, knocking on the door, just like you did in Call oh, of the Dead. Oh, yeah, Call of the Dead, yeah, Which yeah, would yeah. be cool. I think it'd be really cool to talk to them, period. Uh, I don't think they will be in the map at all. But really? that's just me. Uh, I don't think they will be. I think it's going to be similar to the Origins ending, where it's like, they're there, but you obviously never get to see them at that point. You know what I'm thinking? I feel like the house itself will be the final Easter egg step. You open the door to the house, and then that's the end of the Easter egg. That's probably my guess. And then it goes into whatever the cutscene is, and then it ends. Rip. So you, st you still think you should start on the porch, though? Yeah, I think you start on the porch, and you end in the house. You spend that entire time just trying to get inside the doors. Probably. Probably. I bet you did. Zetsubo Easter egg 2.0. Yeah, fucking we spent all that time trying to get cogs, so could be. Spend the entire time getting the door open. There's there's an apothecary war going on outside, and <laughs> we're just trying to get the door open, guys. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm, I'm thinking, again, it's also going to evolve heavily, obviously, on Monty and Maxis. Mm -hmm. But I just, Monty is really unclear, man. He's the wild card now. Yeah, we know Maxis' story, but we don't know Monty's. Um, but I still think he's evil. There's no way in hell he's good. Like, I, like look at the way he opens the door as well to all the kids playing. Because he's the one that opens it, by the way. You can see his glove. You think it's creepy enough that he's evil? Oh, oh dude, I think he's absolutely evil. Especially because, like, he locks the door on the main characters. Um, he's just... I, I don't know. Like, he, he just comes out of nowhere as well. Plus, he's this omnipotent god-like being. That's why I'm just kind of like, dude, I don't, I don't know at this point. It's just really uh, i don't know he's definitely the most craziest character that we still know nothing about and there's literally one dlc left so <laughs> crazy plus we were introduced to him like the last dlc that's why i'm like fucking rip lundell man you got a lot of story and ties to tie up in this fucking dlc because dude i thought gk would have a lot more story but when it actually didn't i was like dude i don't know how they're gonna do this for the last dlc but let's hope, man. Let's, yeah. hope, let's hope they, they um, make a good story. I just got some interesting information. What are you, what are you seeing? Um, let's see. Yeah. Okay, what? so let me pull this up for you. Um... So everyone can see on the oh. It looks like it's going to be playable at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Dude, my render just died with one second remaining. Really? 
Fuck. Okay, sorry. What, 10 a.m. Pacific time on the 6th or the 5th? On the 6th. Okay, I'm fine with that. I will not be sleeping at all that night. That's interesting, though. That they're gonna. That's actually. I think I like that a lot better because then I can get a normal sleep schedule going. Oh God. The sixth uh, at 10, 10 a.m. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's that. Pretty saucy. That was pretty saucy. I do have to agree. Holy. I like sauce. And I like Treyarch, so this Treyarch sauce should be good. Yummy. Cool. All right, man. Well, I'll uh, I'll see you. You know, downstairs in like two minutes. Yeah. Okay. All right, dude. Thanks for coming Peace. up. Peace. No Peace. Worries. Well, there you have it, fam. That is that. We heard from Milo. We heard from Lex, and obviously myself. I was just like, oh. I think I'm gonna end the stream there. It's been a solid hour with you guys. It's been. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna keep watching this all day long. I mean, we've been watching it over and over and every single time I'm like, oh, that's cool. That's new. I didn't see that before. This makes sense now. Holy crap. Why is this happening? It's just constantly like new discoveries every single time I watch it. So I, I guarantee I can watch it like 10 more times and still learn something new every time. But thank you guys so much for coming out. Let's get a quick like spike if you guys are hyped AF for this before I go. And um, I'll probably have another video for you guys today. Not sure what it'll be. I kind of did all of the breakdown and reaction here in one go. Uh, but if there's anything else that comes out, obviously I'll be reporting on that uh, with a video. And I might I might stream again tonight. I feel like I might stream again some just throwback map. Um, just because of this madness. I want to get pumped for it. And it's close. It's not even far away. It is 12 days away. I just saw that on, uh, on the thing, countdown, I should have known that. It is less than 12 days away now, which is madness as well. I am so freaking pumped to see it, to play it. Everyone wants me to call Pat, huh? Okay, let's call Pat and see what he says. Let's see, let's, we'll go real quick with Pat. Um, I'll go real quick with Pat real quick and see if he's around. If he doesn't answer, rip, but uh, I think he might, he might, we'll see. Patrice. I don't think it's gonna happen. We'll give it three more dings, three more beeps. The person whom you're trying to reach is currently- The answer is no! All right, guys, thank you so much for coming through. As I said before, make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed, if you are freaking pumped for this map. Make sure you guys share the uh, share this this trailer, this, this madness, this love, this respect, this community around, because it's gonna be fucking sweet. It's gonna be hella bank. We'll see you guys all later today, probably. Thank you so much for coming by. Space Dog, out.